And our next move is creating the Pyro simulation. So create a dot network. And let's call this Fire Sim. Create the Pyro solver sparse and the small object sparse because I want to use the sparse mode and use a volume source to take our source from here. Let's go to the fire source, fuel out and choose a source fuel. In this situation, we don't have a fuel, we have a burn field and I will transfer this field into the flame field. That's how our sparse simulation works. We will have a temperature and I don't have a velocity, so we can simply remove this from here. And with the temperature, I can choose the pull operation and make a slightly pull acceleration 50 to pull my temperature from the source and choose, I guess, the maximum from my burn field. So that's what we have. Let's call this um, flame source. We can call this. You know, it's my old thing when I call the fuel out. Yeah, I know that there is no fuel field. We have a burn field, but they just like I work all my years in Houdini. So, okay, so smoke sparse we have. Um, we'll increase the voxel size to 0.5 uh, just uh, to make a test because 0.1 is a good, will create a good result, but in this case it's very um, RAM consuming uh, if we have such a scale, large scale simulation. And I want to choose a multi-field because I want to have some density, density, and here I have some uh, flame field and some temperature. So for those who doesn't know how we create the simulation, we transfer our burn field into the flame field. And this will create a flame for us. Later on, we will create a flame and this flame will produce some smoke over here. So we can enable this checkbox emit smoke. And um, that's how it works, basically. So when we apply simulation, play simulation for now, it doesn't work for this moment. Let me just hide other objects. Do you have just an ability to see this smoke, um, smoke object, sparse. So with a multi-field uh, flame temperature, that should be correct. So let me see, burn into flame, the fuel out, should work, should work. So we can apply the simulation to one frame. So it's creation frame actually. So let me see where's my uh, fuel here. Yeah, I have it. Burn temperature 0.1. So, oh, okay. Maybe there is a voxel. It's not pro proper voxel for this. So let me choose here. And get back here. So maybe like 0.1 in the case. And yeah, now it works. So now we have some flame. Now we have some flame here. And you can see that our flame shrink and begin our container begin bigger and bigger so now we have it 2 million voxels and it became bigger and bigger so we can try to make maybe voxels 0.2 i don't know will be it enough or not okay that's a little bit better So yeah, at this time it's very expensive to create simulation using the all those 
area, this big area. With voxel point two, we have some result, but this result is pretty low res. So we have some flame, but I want to use this low res seam to play with the fire and smoke dynamic. I should apply some should apply some uh, wind to this. I need to correct my flame because I get this my that my flame should be very very big. It will have very big height, so I need to cut this flame. I don't want to make it very very big. So we're gonna apply with that with the flame height. Okay. So there's not too many smoke created by this fire for now. But it should be. So I will make some preview. But what I want to do, I want to correct my fire. So let's make some adjustments I want to add here. So the first thing I want to, uh, to change is um, change my flame height. So we have the lifespan parameter, which can create the bigger or smaller flames for us. So let's decrease it to one, all right? So that's how we reduce the flame height a little bit. Let's increase the more smoke. So I create just two amount of smoke. I'm gonna leave the frame range uh, like it was here. Um, definitely, maybe I will reduce the time scale just a little bit because I have a very large scale simulation. Use the double project only. Oh, let me just make a single project, I guess. A single project of action reflection uh, with the same reflection mount. And, 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 and what else? What else? let me add some wind so i maybe i want to use let's set a little bit different temperature like 3000 kelvins for the reference and with the buoyancy i guess we're going to play after i add a little bit of wind for this sim so let me choose a gas wind and apply this to forces the last input here from our parasol with sparse and Yes, I know this wind scale one sometimes can be uh, too big, but in this case we have a large scale, so I guess that we can try with this amount. But I want to change my direction because he should blow on the Z axis. All right, so we add a wind, we have a source. Let me just increase a little bit of. Um, this field to make more fire intense, bigger fire intense. All right, and with innovation, we're going to play with the shape a little bit later. With an advanced option, we can add a little bit more sub steps. Let's choose two at the moment, maybe for the final simulation. I'm going to use like three steps, sub steps. So to see uh, the better, see a dynamic, what I want to add, I want to add some import cache. So add another geometry and this is going to be my fire cache fire cache let's add dope import fields to add the seam from the dope network which is fire seam at the moment and any smoke i will find there i will put into the default objects so let's grab a pyro but from this pyro, all what I want is just the density, velocity, um, I guess a temperature, and the flame field. Fuel, I don't need a fuel, I don't need a color. And go to the file cache. I want to save this simulation. Go to your fire. Let's call it fire at the moment. Remove the hip name, I don't need to. And let's save like a first, I don't know, maybe 100 frames just to see uh, how it works. It'll look on dynamic from a fire, for the smoke, for the wind, all those stuff. So I turn off the ship. I don't need the ship for now. Uh, okay, let's do this and let's make simulation to see what we need to fix here. So let's fight it a little bit. And that's what we have. 
after the sim. So it's not too many smoke here. We definitely need to work with dissipation. But what else I want to see here? I want to add the uh, post, oops, sorry, fire post process to see, better see the flame and the smoke make a small color much darker so yeah the flame is pretty big flame okay we have the density temperature and the flame so definitely there's a lot of work a lot of correction so let's go here to the fire and the first thing we need to correct is our smoke dissipation because 0.5 is too much because our smoke dissipate very very fast <clears throat> doesn't create any smoke actually just a fire and after fire smoke dissipate very very fast so in this case i want to make it like um, i know zero zero one <clears throat> so i did want to remove <clears throat> this smoke um, we can check dissipation so the smoke will not dissipate anywhere but i want to keep it a little bit to reduce the density <clears throat> a little bit and for the fire I guess increase uh, add a shredding for the fire and add a disturbance for our smoke so actually um, I want to add a disturbance not just for the smoke I want to add some disturbance for the flame field I can leave this by default 0 0.2 0 0.2 so the shredding work with flames and our disturbance work with flames too all right <clears throat> so and for a little bit better result what I want to do I want to separate my source because this source is very very big so I just want to choose some points here to you know to select just one area so we can grab some points over here make a delete and delete non-selected so they just the pie um the part of this for all this simulation area just a part of this so if you go to fill out you can see it i think that somewhere here we have a container for our simulation okay so now what i want to do i want to decrease the voxel size so maybe put 0.15 is going to create a little bit better result for us with these boundary conditions i get that i'm going to leave them as they are and um, what we can do we can apply the center to each element but in this case we have this element on the center yeah it should works fine so now we have a little bit more small because dissipation is much much smaller and it will create smoke much better okay so now what I want to do again I want to check this this thing maybe decrease the buoyancy scale like 0.5 make it smaller I don't want to write this fight too too fast and too quickly so get back to my cache fire cache control s to save the seam and make another one cache just for this small part of simulation i want to see the amount of smoke i will have and how i can correct this smoke to make a little bit more details so let's choose a render shuttler and let's wait a little bit now that's what we have with the fire so we can see how shredding works and what else i want to add here is our skylight so i can hide this stuff and with the skylight turn off enable light in viewport and if you look from our camera actually the light is somewhere at the proper position maybe turn this a little bit more like here yeah, to 100 degrees by the y-axis good 
and now we can see a smoke a little bit better when we have a shadows all right let's see it's 87 so yeah now we have much much more smoke over here much smoke from this area and it was done on frame 100 I want to increase the density scale a little bit more for the smoke just to see the details on it and we can see that there's not too many details on the smoke surface so we need to add some disturbance to break this mesh to break this shape actually so what we can do is go to fire seam let's get it back here and add the merge node to add some additional microsolars so we use our disturbance from the shape tab to make a disturbance for the flame and basically i want to add the same thing i want to add a disturbance just for the density so i want to disturb my smoke i'm going to use the block based so the first one let's decrease the strength i don't want to have such a big strength maybe put it 10 and uh, maybe increase a little bit of roughness and increase maximum octaves to have a little bit more details to have a little bit more contrast thing and holding the alt key i create another disturbance this uh, gas disturbance were, had the block size 0.2 the next one should be a little bit less should have a little bit less strength and the smaller size block size 2.1 we don't need such a maximum octave so leave it 3.5 as it was by default but i want to increase the threshold range from 0.05 to 0.075 so it will have a little bit big influence and the same thing we add here i want to increase the threshold range to 0.1 to zero so we select the threshold range how big should be a threshold field and yes you know the threshold field is the density for our simulation and it will choose those voxels which has the threshold range from the 0.1 to zero so we're gonna go inside of the more dense areas so disturbance for those who doesn't know how it works the disturbance applies some noise to velocity field and it's, it's not noise it's like a pentagon it's break our mesh using the velocity field and mainly we apply this disturbance to the density to break our smoke surface smoke shape but here we break some flame so the threshold field is flame and in this area i applied a different disturbance so it's like um, let's make those three elements so the bigger one had the maximum block size well it's not a maximum but a big block size like 0.2 and it will go deeper into the smoke till the 0.1 density and you have a bigger strength the smaller one, 0.1 block, will have a less threshold range and the less strength. And the last one, the said, I get that um, I will apply, <clears throat> maybe I'm going to leave like 0.1, but increase um, maybe the rogueness and make it smaller like 0.05 and reduce the special lens arranged to default settings maybe decrease make strands like 10 maybe increase the maximum octaves to five just to have i want to have a three different disturbance type they have a different block size they have a different strands and they have a different threshold range okay so they will i will apply this disturbance on a different areas of my smoke case i hope that it will help us to create a proper shape for the smoke so now let's make a little bit more like a 200 frame seam to make more smoke and we're gonna find does it helps or not 
and have 120 frames and now you can see from this angle that we break our shape and it's looking much better we still have not a huge quality not a uh, nice resolution so we definitely need to decrease the voxel size to have a proper resolution but anyway we can see that we had a very very flat surface from the smoke but now we break the surface with the disturbance uh, another option you can apply the turbulence with a small scale but i think the disturbance will be enough at the moment all right so let's see how many frames we have 134 so we can look at that yeah it's looking not bad looking not bad a lot of detail we have you can see some lines over here that's with from the low scale uh from the low rest seam we have a nice you know fire shredding here things will work so now <clears throat> here's an option um actually not an option a big question how we now can um, create kind of this simulation with the much smaller voxel size like 0.1 or even smaller maybe 0 0.05 something like that and use the whole source from here so i turn off this blast node so we can see that it's pretty big so it's like five or six times bigger and we're going to spend a lot of resources to get the proper simulation with uh, the uh, uh, voxel size we want so let's break this simulation into parts and let's find out how we can do this <clears throat> 